What's up friends, it's your girl Emily Curl and welcome back to my in-home studio. We have another interview today with the husband and wife duo of Flora Cash. Check it out. Hi guys, it's so nice to meet you both. Hi. Hello, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you too. Thank you so much for taking the time. We're so excited. Flora Cash, can't wait to talk to you guys about so many things. Your music, oh. I want to hear about your quarantine life right now. Um, <laughs> so where are you guys currently at right now? Um, we are in Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's actually just, I think yesterday it finally started to feel like spring. So that's kind of a nice, that's some good news. Yeah, you know, actually, but. yeah. How is we get yeah. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, it's actually great. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Where are you located? Um, I'm in Brooklyn. So I'm in New York. Um, okay. So, that. yeah, so it's been a little scary over here, but I'm kind of on yeah. the outskirts. So um, we've that's been good. staying in our apartment. I have two of the roommates, but it's really cool because I have my window right out here. And at seven every night, I can hear people cheering from New York, cheering for the healthcare workers. So oh, everyone no. in New York is laughing. I know it's really special. So that's I keep so my window sweet. open. Oh, yeah, that's, so cute. that's, that's, really that's cool. awesome. Yeah. Well, okay. So I want to talk about you both because I love that you are both musicians, but you're also a husband and wife duo and yeah. have a really interesting story of a URL to an IRL love story. Which I personally love because I met my boyfriend on, an, on a dating app. <laughs> oh, awesome. so, so that was like, so it's always fun to me. But I'm curious for people who haven't heard this story, how did you guys mm -hmm. meet? How did it come about? Well, uh, I was living in Stockholm and then in Sweden. And then I was looking for some new music to get inspired by. And I clicked on Cole's music on SoundCloud, which mm -hmm. I also had a SoundCloud. And <laughs> started to listen to his songs and he and commenting on his stuff and then yeah. yeah, and uh, so then I saw Espresso's comments, and they were numerous and uh, they were, <laughs> loyal. I like it, very, but they were very thoughtful and sweet. And uh, and then I checked out her uh, profile and and totally fell in love with the music. And and I think it was actually me who suggested initially, like, hey, it would be cool if we could collaborate, you know, over you know virtually, yeah. send each other songs or files and. So we started discussing that and then it sort of, it, as we started talking about music, it became more and more, uh, you know, just real life personal stuff. Mm. And we we had a whole bunch of other stuff in common and connected on a lot of other levels. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then it, then it was like, a, it was basically Skyping for five months, almost like seven or eight hours a day <laughs> at what? least sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was wow. pretty, it was actually... It was, it was not a yeah, It was basically like now hanging out this one. Yeah, yeah. We were basically, we were so nice. We were, we were social distancing way back then. You so. started it. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any tips for couples who are new to the self-isolating world that, that's worked for you guys? I mean, I guess a tip would be uh, it's okay to get irritated with each other once yes. in a while. And, yes. it's, and it's totally okay to have like disagreements. And I think it's a good opportunity to really get to know somebody and don't like don't hide from anything i think that's mm. the real like be honest with each other when there's an irritation because it, it like as much as that's a good rule no matter what state no matter how your relationship is even if you don't see each other all the time um honesty let, don't let it anything fester or build up because it's going to it's going to be that much worse when you're <laughs> stuck in the same True. apartment or house or whatever yeah. with somebody so that would just be the thing like it, yeah. it doesn't it's not going to be you know people are people and unless you're like a clone of somebody else like you're gonna oh, have gonna be different of course um yeah. now have you guys found time right now to write music and be creative we're trying to find time not to do that actually. <laughs> you're like <laughs> too much yeah. But, um, but you know, like the one silver lining is we were, we were supposed to be on tour, which we would have loved to be on tour, Yeah, it's but, so sad. but yeah. you know, within that first week of having to postpone the tour, we wrote like four new songs that would oh, not wow. have existed otherwise. So, mm -hmm. so you can always, I think everybody should try to turn this into an opportunity to just, you know, to do things they might not have done otherwise or yeah. create things they might not have created or yeah. learn a new skill. Like I love that people are learning new skills. Yeah. And, Even though there's, we obviously all of us understand that this is super devastating to some people like yeah, exactly. where yes. their thoughts and our prayers are truly with those people all the time because not all of us are that lucky you know mm -hmm. and that that is the hard part of it but i don't know maybe something good comes out of you know yeah in those situations the time know. for self-reflection yeah. and everything yeah. Yeah. yeah totally i know one yeah. thing that's been helping me a ton is music and yeah, i have to tell you guys that your song missing home is like 
Mm-hmm. It hit me deep, especially, I mean, I love that song before, but I feel like that song right now is especially <laughs> pertinent to the situations that we're in. Um, where were you guys yeah. at when you wrote that song originally? Uh, it started in Boston, actually. Yeah. And then we finished it here. Yeah. 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 But yeah. initially the, uh, the whole, like the, the chorus and everything, we were, uh, we, we did a show in Boston and this was before like this success of you're somebody else. So it was at, you know, we were at a level where it was literally just Bress and I, uh, didn't have a tour manager, didn't have anybody. And we were just on the road alone, pretty much, you know, paying out of our own pocket to to tour and lose money doing so mm. and it was just like the the song just like totally encapsulated how we felt at that moment a little bit melancholy and kind yeah. of just longing for familiarity yeah. no but, but yeah. basically like no yeah <laughs> right that's why i was like wow i was like this is so real right now especially <laughs> yeah, yeah, Boston was like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now i want to talk about your album too baby it's okay what sort of stories are we hearing when we listen to the album? What are, what did you want to, to convey to the world when you put this music out? That's a good question. It's a good question. I mean, yeah. it, 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 I think it means something different to us every time we listen, listen to, to it. it. Yeah. And, Which we find with a lot of our music. Like, at first we're like, oh, this is what it is a little bit about. And then after a week or two or a month or even a year, like, whoa, this means totally different thing now. It's just so, so cool, I think, Yeah. with music. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. That even for us, is something different, <laughs> like, strange. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. And I, th- I think, I don't know, I think in general, the, the record just kind of has this vibe of um, confronting, um, like, the, some of the more negative aspects of life and uh, realizing that there's, like, as, we, as I just said a little bit ago about this situation, like, realizing there's a silver lining. Yeah. Like, a, a lot of that album has kind of, like, darker themes, but mm. there's always supposed to be this, like, this glimmer of hope at yeah. the end of it. Like, most things are not absolutely... I mean, as long as you're still alive, uh, you can always try. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a lyric from the song. But, I mean, that's that's sort of the general thing, and that's, like, the title, Espressa came up with the title, and it's based on a lyric in one of the songs, yeah. in a little bubble. It's, like, the outro. Uh, but it's just meant to be kind of a comfort to people mm, and not, mm-hmm. not hiding from the negativity or the darkness, yeah. but kind of... That's awesome. And, and now I want to take it back with you guys, too. Where did the name Flora Cash come from? It's such a cool name. What was the history behind it? Uh, actually, that's our only secret. We don't tell <gasps> anybody. No, no. Not even in these quarantine times, guys. Y'all are gonna leave I me know, hanging this is every the time. <laughs> right. uh, No. Normally, what Spresso says is, if you watch to the end of the interview, then we might say it. At the I, end. I used to oh, do that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I stopped doing that now. I People think. started like I think like um, on air, like DJs and stuff started to get irritated with that because they'd heard us say that to other people before. But well, you never know. I might reveal it sometimes. That's true. Yeah, that's it might true. Slip. I'm like. Happens. But it's kind of a personal thing to us, and the only person who actually knows is uh, Shpress's sister. So, so you should bribe her. So, I don't know. I bet you so let's get her in FaceTime. Let's call her up. <laughs> She's like, okay, no. No, but I kind of love that. I think that's special. That's something that like you guys share that you keep to yourself. Kind of like what we we're talking about being vulnerable with the other person. So I respect that and appreciate it, even though the other part of me is sad because I am curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, Flora Cash, this has been so fun. One last Thank question before you, you go: yeah. If you can send one message to your fans watching right now, maybe something that's keeping you hopeful, what would it be? Um, uh, uh, nothing lasts forever, mm. and it's fine. Yeah. Actually, yeah, like yeah, there, that's there is a light you. at the end of this, and um, and hang in there, be strong for yourself and for your loved ones, and uh, we will we will see you um, when we're all able to connect in person yeah. again. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait for that day. It's so nice Aww. to meet you both. So nice and to hopefully you. next time we do an interview, it'll be um, in real life, and you guys will tell me the meaning of the name. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you maybe off air, and yeah. then you decide yeah. if you want to. No, I kind of like the secret of it. I feel like I don't want to mess it up anymore. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Stay thank safe, you. stay healthy, and we'll see you guys soon. Well, yeah, yes, stay bye. safe. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you stream the new album, Baby It's Okay, by Flora Cash on iHeartRadio, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.